Alright, I've got some prototype game pieces here that I want to demonstrate briefly, give you a bit of a flavor for what uh, they're all about. So first let me set up the scenario. I want you to imagine with me that you've got a, a group of learners, entrepreneurial learners that you're working with and you're driving them to come up with the most impactful and feasible new venture idea that you can. Let's assume you're using an idea modeling or business modeling approach and you're seeking to go f help them go from wherever they are to this really big value zone. So that's the setup. You send them out there as we often do to create a, an idea model or a business model perhaps uh, and to come back in, deliver that and make a pitch and we make an assessment of those. So those might look something like this. The assessment you use might vary but let's pretend for the sake of this conversation that uh, you know, we feel out who we are, who we're assessing and, and I'm, I've got a simple approach here where we score them on the strength of their customer situation, strength of their value proposition, strength of their substitutes and alternatives, how their core competence looks, what their offering looks like, and, and uh, people on the team. And I've given them scores here, 8 on customer, 8 on value proposition, 8 on substitutes and alternatives, each out of 10, uh, distinctive core competence, uh, an offering score of 7, and, and in this case the people on the team aren't as, as strong as they might be, so we've got something like a 6 out of 10. So what they would then do is, is, with this feedback in hand that they may have gotten from you or from others, they would then want to know where they are on this um, impact and feasibility chart. And that's where the power of this comes in, is being able to map that for themselves. So, for example, if we look at the uh, impact finder, which uh, I'll just put here and briefly demonstrate, if you had that customer score of 8 and you have a value proposition of 8, then you line both of those up such that the 8 and the 8 line up. And then you add a substitute's alternative situation of roughly uh, 8. Then you slide over and see that your impact result is uh, an 8 out of 10, uh, roughly 80% of the way up. So you, they would pull this out and they'd say, OK, I'm roughly 80% uh, of the way up this chart. And then they would do the same thing They're using the feasibility finder. They have distinctive an offering of seven and people on the team. So they slide distinctive an offering of seven until they line up. They then go to the people on the team being roughly six and they get a feasibility score of uh, five out of ten. So that's how it works. So they come back here and they say, okay, I'm 50% of the way up this chart. And then they can roughly map themselves to being right here. Now, this is rough, of course, but it gives them a consistent, uh, tangible tool set to go from the kinds of things that we want them to be thinking about, the variables that they can change, to the place that they might hold on the impact and feasibility chart. So this is uh, still in the prototype stage, but uh, testing really, really well with entrepreneurs and students, and I wanted to give you a taste of that in the context of the broader idea maker game that we're coming out with. So uh, this being the live version and there's other pieces uh, that I won't describe here but that are coming very soon. So thank you very much.